Hello everyone, this is Florian and today's video is about Monkey patching global variables in PyTest. Suppose we want to create a pipeline in Python. This pipeline could be a trainings and test pipeline for a machine learning model. One part of the pipeline would then be the collection of all files in a certain directory, for example images or plain text files. Here I already created a data directory which contains two text files. The part of the pipeline collecting these files could look like this. Inside of our pipeline.py file, we create a new function, which is called collect files. It takes one parameter, which is the string pattern that we want to search for. Furthermore, we have a global variable, which is called data dir, and it stores the location of the data files. So where are they located? Well, in our data directory, where is this one? It's in our working directory, which is this one. And there we have a data directory. And as I want to use a pathlib path, I need to import it first. All right, so what's next? We can use the data dears glob method to search for this pattern in the data directory. At this point, one option would be to return the result directly. The problem with it is that the glob method returns a generator by default. To keep things simple, I want to work with a list instead, which makes it easier for our test case that we are going to write. So I will consume this generator and return a list instead. The question now is, how can we test our collect files function properly as we are using a global variable at this point? We start by creating a new file where our tests will live in and call it test.py. Then we open it in Visual Studio Code. Next, we create one test function, which we will call test collect files. And we need um, two PyTest fixtures. The first one is called temp path. And the second one is called monkey patch. And the first one is used to get a temporary directory. The second one is used to use this temp directory instead of the real data directory we use in the code. So the monkey patch fixture will then be used um, to assign a new value to the data dear global variable that we have in our pipeline module. I like to separate my tests into three sections. The given, when, and then sections. So what do we have given for our test? First, we have the temp directory. And what I already want to do is to create a new variable which is called temp data directory. Um, which is nothing else but this temp path and inside of it a data directory. Um, this is possible because the temp path fixture returns a path object. Next, we need to actually create this data directory and we can do this by calling the make dir function and we set parent to true. So this makes sure that also all parent directories inside of this path are created. Um, next, we create a single text file inside of it. So um, let's call this one temp file. And it is the temp directory slash file one.txt. And to create it, we need to call the touch method on it. Last but not least, I want to define our expected result. Expected. And our expected result is one. So to give it a yeah, proper name, so from our result set, um, or, or the length of our result set should be one. So um, from our expected result, the length, so expected length um, of the result set, this should be one because only one file is in this data directory. Now we are entering the when section. So um, when the collect files function is invoked, and first we need to import it so that we can do this. So let's import our pipeline module. 
pipeline.collect files and the string pattern at this point is star.txt. So this returns a list of files. Let's, let's assign it to files and our actual results so the actual length is equal to the length of the list and in the then section we can write a single assert statement which is nothing else but the expected length should be equal to the actual length so now let's head over to the terminal and run it oh yeah and we need to install pytest first so we can do that by creating a new virtual environment um, python -m -v -v, v -v. and we activate it and install pytest and if we now run the test we can see that it fails and why does it fail because tempath is not a fixture because it's without the e so i need to remove it over here if we run it again tempath is not defined oh yeah i need to adjust it over here as well but now we should see make dear got an unexpected keyword argument which is parent yeah this is called parents and our test fails why does it fail because we expected the length to be one but instead it was two why was it two because at this point we are not making use of the temp directory but instead we are using the real data directory that we have if you remember this tree over here and inside of it there are two plain text files in our temp di data directory there's only one file so what we need to do now is that we need to patch the global variable and we can do this by using monkey patch and monkey patch has a function which is called set editor and this allows us to assign a new value to um to the data dir variable inside of the pipeline module and the new value for the data dir variable inside of the pipeline module is temp data dir and if we now run this test again we have a passing test because now we patched the global variable and used the temp data directory instead.